What's up y'all, it's Emil Inish Jr. back here with Clever News. And just days after Vanessa Morgan called out Riverdale writers for making black actors the sidekick and getting paid the least on the show, the creator of Riverdale has issued an official apology. Amid everything going on in the world, Vanessa is one of thousands of people who are living proof that there is power in using your voice to speak out and stand up for what is right. Just a few days ago, Vanessa, who played Tony Topaz, AKA Riverdale High's transfer student from Southside High, voiced her frustration over how black people are portrayed in the media. In a tweet shared last week, Vanessa called out the writers of CW's Riverdale, who cast her to play a character in a gang, saying that she was tired of being, quote, portrayed as thugs, dangerous, or scary people, as well as sidekick non-dimensional characters to white leads. Fans began agreeing with Vanessa and sharing examples of characters who just so happened to disappear from the show after the first season. One user wrote, the Pussycats disappeared after season one. Melody and Valerie were written out like they were never there. Chuck disappeared, Josie disappeared, we all noticed. The response from fans was so positive that it didn't take long for Vanessa to bow to her fellow black fans to never take a role that doesn't properly represent black people. She stated in another series of tweets, to my black fans, I have now made it my purpose to fight for us. To the six year old me who had no role model that looked like me on TV, this is for you. We aren't your token black non-dimensional characters. This is being black in Hollywood. I will fight for you and I will no longer take roles that don't properly represent us, period. These tweets gained the attention of millions, including the Riverdale fan base who met her pleas with positive praise. Thankfully, Riverdale creator Roberto Aguirre Sacasa also heard Vanessa and took her points into consideration as he released a statement apologizing about the racial inequality on set. He shared a statement to Instagram Thursday saying, quote, we hear Vanessa, we love Vanessa, she's right. We're sorry and we make the same promise to you that we did to her. We will do better to honor her and the character she played, as well as all of our actors and characters of color. He continued on to say, change is happening and will continue to happen. Riverdale will get bigger, not smaller. Riverdale will be part of the movement, not outside it. Many fans praised Roberto for finally addressing the issue, although seasons late, writing comments on his post like, I'm proud of you, Roberto, and the other people that make this show possible, and I'm really happy that she spoke up. Another fan suggested that Roberto, quote, open your purse and give Tony some character complexity, introduce her family lineage, and make her more than a token. Moving forward, it's clear that there will be many changes implemented, not only on the set of Riverdale, but likely many other shows who portray black characters with smaller and non-dimensional roles. Not only did Vanessa change the game for black characters, but she also vows to use her platform to give black designers a chance to show their work. In another tweet earlier this week, she wrote, quote, from now on, any red carpet or event I will be wearing and supporting black designers. Any aspiring black designers hit me up. I got you, I see you. I mean what I say when I say that there is so much power in using your voice, no matter how big or small your platform is. So continue to do so because it is vital, you guys. And with our platform, we here at Clever also stand against all injustices experienced by members of the black community. We proudly stand with George Floyd and the many other black people who have tragically lost their lives due to the color of their skin and police brutality. We've linked some resources and places to donate down in the description below Low, and we will continue to cover these stories and take part in these conversations. Speaking of conversations, click right over here to find out why we here at Clever are standing up against injustice. And feel free to let us know in the comment section below what you feel about Roberto's response to Vanessa. I'm your host, Emilinish Jr., and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.